Welcome back everyone. Uh, today we're going to do a rosy makeup. Um, I just wanted to add a little bit of warmth to the makeup for those of you who maybe like something that's just a little bit more sort of classic and sophisticated. So here we go. I'm going to use some of the new Unlocked lipsticks by Hourglass which are really lovely. I'll show you those first actually. I've got three shades, three rosy berry shades which I think would look really nice um on me and then also just to kind of show you three different varieties maybe we'll get to do that or maybe we'll just do as a swatch I'm not sure yet but if you're wearing a strong lipstick like this or a kind of berry lipstick like this then how do you balance the rest of your makeup well i've got a little bit of base on i've got my base on um brows and lashes just to kind of save time and not to kind of bang on and be repetitive for you all um, but first I can concur that I talked a couple of weeks ago, I think or maybe last week, about Simple and I've been using the Hyaluronic. Now I've used the CeraVe serum for a long time on my lips. I'm sure you've seen me apply it before but this, straight from the pipette, don't even uh, blob it on, it'll be way too much. But just a little bit of that before you start your makeup onto your lips. If you do suffer from dry lips or you find your lips kind of become quite parched as you wear makeup throughout the day, that can be annoying. I've experienced that myself. Um, I just want to take my lipstick off. That's not the point, is it? And sometimes in some lipsticks, and I haven't really identified it, um, my lips react to it. I just have to take it off. I'd like to know what that little ingredient is that bothers them. But anyway, whilst I'm doing the rest of the makeup, I'm just going to go in with a little bit of a Beauty Pie lip bar just to seal it. I quite like this one. Um, if you're good putting on a lip balm before you're putting on a lipstick, always remove the excess. Um, but if you're just using it to kind of settle in, uh, just make sure it's not too too gloopy or too sheeny. Don't sort of take that lip balm for the effect, if you know what I mean. Let's just pull the old trestles just back a little bit more. See what we've got to play with today. Right. Okay. I feel like I'm going to do a little bit of skin first. So I said to you that I'd found some new things and this is Pro Base by Makeup MUA, Makeup Academy. Now I did write this down, the lost the flipping receipt. Um, £4.50. It's really nice too, really nice. And look how much you get. Um, it's called Spark and you get 30 mils. That's a lot, right? You're never going to run out of this highlighter. Um, and it's got like a goldy tint to it, but don't be scared by that at all. Um, it blends out to a really lovely, lovely sheen, which will kind of give you um, a little bit of warmth. I can just get that into focus. So don't worry about that. You might be put off by that in the store, but honestly, it blends out really well. So I'm going to maybe use a brush to apply this first, just from my hand, and see how this builds up. I'm just going to put a little bit of light into my face first, because it's feeling a little bit flat just with the base, but that's fine. Um, I wanted to kind of keep it just kind of quite soft and just perfected my skin not too overloaded. Um, the reason that I'm putting this on with a brush is because it's more, some of the highlighters that I put on, are, um, they come with a little applicator, a sponge applicator, or they're a bit more creamy. But this actually, yeah, this actually is fine. Let me just try it with my fingers too to see what that difference that makes. But it looks goldy when you put it on. But then when it blends, sorry, when you put it on your hand, but as you can see, you just get that nice, soft light, you know. It's a bit more warmth to it than the balms that we tried the other week. Um, but for £4.50, a little bit on your nose. It's great for dry skin. So, you know, like, if you've got fine lines on your forehead or your skin is really parched and dry and dehydrated for whatever reason, it might be on medication or you might be in the sun too much or whatever, it's always just quite nice to put that just over the surface of your skin just to kind of add that radiance because dry skin is flat and doesn't throw back any kind of light so just a little bit of that will add a bit of vitality into your face. Um, Vive has got a new um, sunset blush balm and they're all very very soft pretty shades although I think I'm probably going to wait to see which one I apply maybe I'll do the eyes and the lips first and tie it in not sure which to go with this first. Um, so let's go in with, I'm going to use Lovely Rose by Max Factor. Now this is an all day eyeshadow. Excuse the noise. Um, just adjusting the mirror because I want, the lips are gonna be stronger, which is fine because my top is darker. Um, and I'm just going to apply the eyeshadow all over the lid just to kind of catch the light 
um, so it looks nice and modern in contrast to the lipstick because if you're going to wear a berry sort of toned lipstick it's always nice to kind of keep the eye a little fresher and this I'm thinking god I hope there's enough for this makeup because I've used this a lot myself in my own kit um, in my own kit in my own makeup bag um, I just love the way this reflects the light and it has that nice warmth in it but it stays put it just needs a moment to dry so get the shape on that you want quickly um, and then you might or you will need to take a nice clean brush and just feather and soften those edges so that it dries in place. It's a bit annoying I have to say that it's kind of like it's described as an eyes shadow but yet you've got this sort of eyeliner brush and it's great for an eyeliner but it's also wicked as an eyeshadow. So you know you'll have to use your own tools for that just to kind of give it that spread. So that's nice, isn't that nice and warm? And honestly when it reflects the light, when it hits the light, it reflects the light beautifully. I'm trying to look in there and look in the mirror. I mean literally, I'm, do you know what it is? I'm doing it with my left hand. <laughs> I'm putting my makeup with my left hand. That's why I was like a bit discombobulated. Um, another thing is this doesn't dry tight, one of my pet hates. Um, so you can pop this on and it just really shapes your eye. It comes in lots of different colours. It comes in a gold, it comes in a purple. Um, and again, if you don't like too much structure in your eye makeup, but you want a bit of a sheen and you want it to last all day, then this is a really nice option. I just like the finish of it. Just feather those edges. But, remember, but see that I didn't go over the whole thing because then you move it. And then if you move it, you won't get that shine. Um, let's use the little applicator it's come with and see how this looks just oh gone way overboard <laughs> it looks good but it will, when it's a bit more polished we only need a tiny bit more T sorry we only need a little bit just there yeah quite like that that's quite flattering with a with my eye color okay so after all now I've just slagged off the brush. Actually, if you want to put it in, in this area of your eye, works quite well. Um, here we go. And just soften that just for a little bit more. Nice, I might want to put a little bit of definition in there. So why, I'll try. So this is the one of the purpley shades. What's it called? It's called, it's called Fall on the Floor. So this is one of the purpley shades. It's called a Sultry Burgundy. So, let's have a little try. Just for a bit of definition, let's wing that out at the side and take that same brush and let's see how they blend in. I hope I haven't, oh no, I hope I haven't uh, left it too late. Actually, it's probably quite good. Oh, I like that. Oh, yes, she is special. Yes, that's what we needed. Um, it's really quite nice. I thought I had left it too late to blend in is what I was trying to say and that it wouldn't blend seamlessly and would almost become a bit sticky on top but it needed a little drying time so that ended up well. A fluke, a makeup fluke. What I like about these sort of creamy eyeshadows that stay pert is that they sort of really flatter the eye shape without kind of um, Mm. Um, without overpowering them but it looks finished and polished now my touch with this brush is super light this is what brush is this this is the um, refer brush or refer 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 there we are. I'm just going to sweep that into the socket oh she's going don't go too strong Caroline because you've got a stronger lip and that will tip you over as in ruin the look lovely like that lots okay well i didn't realize i was going to do a double whammy so that's lovely rose and um burgundy so oh, these stickers don't look make barcodes barcode horrendousness there we go very nice okay i'm definitely going to go nude on my skin because i've gone a little bit stronger on my eyes and if i go pink on the cheeks and i use the color on my lips it's, oh, i'm literally going to throw the balance off so shall we try why don't we try um, Rosa. 
because I'm not that warm. I've just nearly elbowed all the lipsticks. <laughs> Woohoo! Um, and then see what this looks like. And if it doesn't read too much, such a nice colour. I'm going to put it straight on with my fingers because I know these are sort of delicate. And let's see, do a little bit of patty pat 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 pat. The reason I'm patting is because it's very soft and I don't want to move my base. Yeah, that blends very easily. I need to make sure that doesn't come down too much on my cheekbone there because that'll pull my face down. So I need to keep that quite high and just a little flush up the top. Can you see? This is another great lesson. So what I did was I sort of trickled or the blush sort of trickled further down my face towards my lip. And here I had a better action of putting the blush just because it's very delicately on the top part of my cheekbone and I kept this part clear. You can see the difference, right? So let's remove any colour and then I'll just go back in with a little bit of my base. Ooh, see, it's so subtle, isn't it? The changes that you can make with your face. Just that area there you want to keep nice and clean. So let me just put a little bit of the foundation. I'm still using the lasting performance, actually. I'm going to blow my cheek out. That's it. She's lifted! Much better. Mm, I really feel like I do the little bit more sheen. I think it's just because the light has dropped slightly. It looks quite lovely in here, in the mirror, but just a little bit soft there. It's gone very grey in London. So these are the lipsticks from Hourglass. We have Wave, Cypress and Flora. Really lovely. They're sort of satiny, um, hugely pigmented and very hydrating. Um, this is lightly browner. This is kind of mid-tone and wave. Should we give wave a go? It's a bit more berry. Now let's go middle, let's go middle because that's possibly a little bit wintry for me. If you've got darker skin than me, that will look really beautiful. Um, just for a more gentle, natural hue, I would suggest Flora. So let's go in the middle and I'm gonna go straight from the bullet. I don't want to use a liner. I've got my lip prep on, but I'm gonna remove. I can still be a lot of uh, balm on there. So just very lightly, just the excess, okay? Not, not removing it. And then I'll take my foundation brush And work that slightly over and then very very lightly with my by terry loose powder with a hyaluronic in i'm going to dance that over but i do use a clean brush for that okay so just a little bit on the brush Ooh. <laughs> nothing like someone who overdoes everything it's probably going to go in the lens now and give me this kind of like soft focus look You need a tiny bit because what you don't want to do is create a layer of base and concealer over the lips and then you put the colour on because that would just look horrible and <clears throat> it won't stay on. So it needs to be really, really fine. So just make sure that you've nailed that fineness. Don't kind of go in with a waft of powder like I did. You could see my table, you would really not be happy. Right, what did we say? We're going in with Flora. They're really lovely, these lipsticks. If you hadn't noticed, they're slightly at an angle. Um, and so they sit just like that on the dressing table, which is quite lovely. Um, I do like hourglass, they never, they never fail. Anyway, let's get on with it. Great pigment. and definitely dark enough for me. Cypress would have been um, a step too far and would have taken me, yeah, taken me into sort of the autumn months. So I like, I like this colour. Um, flora. Okay, so that's literally seconds of applying. Obviously I need to balance it out and make it look nice. 
So let's start with the bottom lip first. Just take your cotton bud. Oh, by the way, <laughs> little, do the cutest cotton bud boxes. Really nice prints, under a pound. You get a hundred in there, I think. Yeah, just over a hundred and they're all paper. Um, but yeah, really, really nice. You never know what you might buy in Lidl's. Mm. A friend of mine really loves their moisturiser. Uh, anyone else got any little beauty tips? Now, the reason I'm using, I haven't even used a lip brush. There's a reason for that, just because it's my own lipstick. Um, but I love to soften the lip line. I don't like a hard lip line on my face. And a lot of the clients that I've got, um, unless they're young, I don't like it hard because photographically it looks too strong. And I just think it just looks a little bit more um, blattering because it's a bit softer. So I'm going to use the tip of that to really create a nice line there. You see how this is, I've come in there, just literally put it on very quickly, and I'm coming out here. Just giving, oh, I haven't used this tip for ages. Um, lips with hips. Now, any of you that have followed me for a long time will know that I always used to talk about lips with hips, just kind of encouraging you to add a little bit more width to your lips. Just kind of gives you a bit more juicy mouth shape. Mmm, really, really nice. Really nice. So I'll take another clean cotton bud and where it's slightly bumpy, stretch my lips really tightly and just smooth that over. I find sometimes with the lip brush that it can move the product whereas this actually gets rid of the excess lip lipstick around the edge of my lip. And if you get a bit worried, just roll it over. Mm. See how much better that is? I think it makes the colour a lot more wearable. And for me, just a little bit more flattering. And what you guys think really nice you know what's going to happen now i'm going to take a little bit on my brush and off the lipstick and just see i'm going to take it high to see whether that warms everything up slightly even though i've got the color in my eye really lovely color Really classic, isn't it? I mean, if you want, I can do like swatches of all the colours, but I just think it's like, a bit boring. I just me just putting lipstick on and off, on and off. I mean, if I had like really full, bouncy lips, then you know, it might be more interesting to watch in terms of just like easy checking the colour on, but I don't know. Yeah, it's quite nice to take that blush up again. I'm really into that at the moment. It really does help lift your face. Lovely. Really happy with that. Really, really happy with that. All right, well, let me know if you need more lip products, whether you like um, lip films, whether you like that kind of look. It's really comfortable, this texture. And I've been wearing them um, before I did the film and they really do last as you would expect right um, but I think against a darker colour or if you were just looking for something sort of really classic these kind of colours that I mentioned um, should work beautifully anyway let me know what you think and I look forward to reading all your comments as usual take care everyone see you next week